you're welcome back now this segment is called why not i have an opinion about everything that happens in the industry i mean why not don't i okay so today we are starting with the very very big news which is sarkodie and bob Marley. now bob Marley has featured sarkodie on one of the biggest songs and this one is actually causing a lot of stare in the system so that was Stare It Up Remix, Bob Marley and the Wailers featuring Sarkodie. Now, when this project hit, people have taken it personal. People have taken it from a selfish point of view. But here's what I actually think. I think that we should rally behind the project. Because if we look at it from a national point of view, and we support and we add the streams from the BIM Nitty, from the SAC Nitty, from the High Grade, from the Shutter Fans, and we make the numbers go up, guess what's going to happen? Another big name, maybe Tupac. They'll do something with Tupac's works, and then they'll come back to Ghana because... The outside world, they don't look at the noise, they look at the numbers. So why don't we go and put our numbers behind this project, make it work, so that next time, a bigger brand will look at Ghana when they are thinking of Africa, and then come and do bigger collaborations with our artists. So this is what is happening with Sarkodie. I have to share my opinion, because Charlie, why not? Why not? Now, moving on. So a project, another project from this guy, he says he's the top boy. So that was Ghetto Love by Camido. Now listen, I love Camido for so many things, but I like him for his consistency. He's that kind of artist that is not trying to do so much. And just in case you didn't know, you know Camido started as a rapper. You did it, right? But all this time, the way he decided to carve his niche, he's been sticking to it. And Camido, you can never get bored listening to Camido. I love this project. I know that they are going to do the most for it like they did with the Sugar King and the Sugar King remix. Please, Camido's team, point it out to Africa and you will come back to Ghana. Please do that. You know, Ghana, we love to listen to what the rest of the world is listening to. Let's do that for this project. And we are sure we can keep our boy at the topmost top of the top. This is what Camido is up to. Please go and stream the project. Now, another artist that is also on to an album. It looks like these people, they like to celebrate their birthday with an album. Pal. Bisake Day celebrated his big birthday with a project. This is an album. Bisake Day doesn't have a video yet, but the album is called Original. And when I listen to it, trust me, that is the original Bisake Day. The Brody, Brody era. Ah. It's like in a film, <laughs> but I love it. Go and stream it. And I want to say that an artist who had a certain niche they were covering, and then Ghanaians, we kept talking, oh, this thing will not work, this thing will not work. I feel like the more they listen to what some of we Ghanaians say, it cripples them. But I like the fact that Bisakede has brought an original version of himself that has a bit of what people like and a bit of what he actually is, the Bisakede that we know, the one that we actually love, the man Bisakede. All of it is in this original project. Go and listen to it and enjoy it. And guess who is doing so much in Jamaica? This one is Stoneboy. So that was Stoneboy shutting down Jamaica. Stoneboy, listen, at this point, Stoneboy, it's like, just, just give him the people. He will do what he has to do. We are proud of Stoneboy. I think when it comes to the people that are selling our music, not just pushing the music out, but actually using their performances, jumping on different stages and different countries to sell the music and put the flag of Ghana on the map. Stoneboy does its best. I'm proud of Stoneboy. We love what he's doing. And we are saying that now that he's mingling with Jamaica, you know, we are hoping that the Grammy can come home very soon. But another thing that is coming home very soon that we love is Girl Trip. The producer and director of Girl Trip is saying that they might actually shoot the next edition or the next sequel of Girls Trip. This is a big American movie. If you are not aware, it has Tiffany Haddish, Jada Pinkers, and please, Queen Latifah. They might shoot the latest edition of it in Ghana at Afro Chella because that movie actually has festivities and all. And I would love to see Ghana projected in such a big movie. And so this is what is happening in our industry. I love it. It's all pointed towards the positive direction. And we are here for it because, I mean... Why not? Now, you're welcome back. I have a short message for you. Now, on Lit Access is your one-stop shop on getting all the updates you need on your latest night culture, 360 coverage of your favorite events in, in and out of Ghana, and free access to your favorite lounges, clubs, 
in and out of Ghana. Call on Lit Access for ticketing, event coverage, and experiences for the wildest parties. On Lit Access, the rave never stops. So if you're a young person and you want to know what the babes and the fine boys and all the cool guys are doing in the night, go on Instagram, on Lit Access. On Lit Access, follow the page because we bring you coverage of what is happening in the night. Those who don't sleep, we are also there with them. We give you 360 coverage. And if you need access to ticketing and all, go to Unlit Access and go and get the ticket to your favorite event in and out of Ghana.